Hello, welcome back. We discussed doing addition using tens complement and fives complements in the last videos. In this part, we are learning to do subtraction using these. In abacus, the steps to do subtraction is the opposite of the steps we did addition. While doing tens complement addition, the formula was add ten and subtract complement. The tens complement subtraction formula is subtract ten and add complement. Now let's look at some examples. First example, thirteen minus five. We write one three thirteen. Now to do a minus five, we do not have the upper bit here, so we are going to use five tens complement to proceed. 5 tens complement is 5. So we subtract 10 and add 5. And we got 8. Okay. Now let's try another example. Say 17 minus 8. We write 1, 7, 17. Now we can't do minus 8 directly. So we are going to use 8 tens complement. That is 2. So we subtract 10 and add 2. We got 9. So we are going to use a complementary number for subtraction in case we do not have enough number of beats to proceed. At times, we might have to see if we could use a tens complement or a fives complement that we do need to decide now let's consider an example 17 minus 3 you might pause the video here and get the digital abacus to try this yourself 3 tens complement is 7 can we subtract 10 and add 7 here no it's not happening so we have a situation here besides uh, there is another thing you must notice here the upper bit is involved because we have a 7 so 5 is already there and uh, this is a situation where we need to use 5's complement to do the subtraction and the formula is add complement and subtract 5. So you might have remembered 3 is 5's complement is 2. So we add 2 and subtract 5 and we get 1, 4, 14. Next, let's try 15 minus 4. We see a 5 involved. So, we definitely are going to use 5's complement to do the subtraction. 4's 5's pair is 1. We add 1 and subtract 5. And it's done. We have 1, 1, 11. So, that's it. In the next video, we will learn addition and subtraction using mixed complementary numbers.